All right. I was watching a video on YouTube yesterday and just to kind of impart advice and things like that. Um, we work with a lot of these animals on a daily basis, so it might be ideal to try and show a lot of people that do keep animals like these as a first time or as a second time or whatever the case might be, exactly what is probably the safest methods of working with them, keeping yourself in a safe environment, things like that. Now the cage that I've got here is a wild caught black mamba. I'm going to remove it, put it in a container and put it back. You can more or less just see exactly what is the way to go about it and things like that. Um, probably the most important part of advice that I want to put through with it is that you need to learn the behavior of the animal you're working with. Black mambas, green mambas, snakes like that focus a lot on movement. So it's important to keep as still as possible, be prepared for any eventuality. As you can see from this cage, it's fairly dirty, so some maintenance needs to be done. All right. Now the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to set up that I can put the snake away quickly and efficiently. So I usually take a round drum like this, it's probably the easiest to work with. Usually just place it on its side but the snake has to go into something as opposed to going down into something. The next step is obviously getting the snake out of the coat. You can see from this case there's a lot of clutter in it, a lot of decorations, things like that. It's not ideal, but it makes a wild caught snake feel just a little bit safer. So I do put it in there. When you decide to go, animals, as I said, focus is on movement. Get in, get out, put the snake in a container as quick as you can, but still just keep concentrating. stand still she's got no complaints about going to a new spot making it a little bit easier for her a little bit darker and in she goes get her hands to pick up the container just like so and Bob's your uncle And then the next step is obviously putting our tenant away. It's fairly clean now. Since we put it in a box, she, like most of her kind, is not too impressed with that kind of behavior. So she might not be in the best of moods when you take her out. The problem with it is, as you can see from the bucket, you can't see where the snake is. She prefers it that way. She doesn't like to see me either, but it makes it fairly dangerous to put her back. So initially, when you take her out, take the lip towards you. If she's going to try and fly out, there's no way she can really go. Just kind of stand still, she will settle down. If she doesn't, if she's fairly compliant, obviously just take her out of the container. The reason I open up on this side is that her hide box is on that side. If I release her into the cage over here and I stand back, she's got the opportunity to go into that hole, feel a bit more secure. If I'm standing on that side, she probably won't use the hide box. She'll figure out she's in a corner and then turn around and fight. She's not in a good mood. You might just be able to have all. One thing I do not do is put my hand inside the container. You don't know where she is, you don't know what she's up to. And just kind of point it in a direction, stand still, let it kind of find a way, just to give it a little bit of motivation, and she will sort herself out. Stand back. Ah. Happy snake, clean cage. Right, the next obvious step is obviously restraint. Um, Mambo is actually quite a good thing, actually fairly easy captors, very few of them really need to be restrained, doesn't happen often, but from time to time it will occur, and there's some nice handy tricks that I've learned over the years to make it just a little bit easier. 
first off, I'm a firm believer that if you're not willing to restrain an animal, you really shouldn't have it. Um, a lot of guys believe you know, put a snake in a cage with a trap box. It doesn't always work out like that. In theory, it's good practice, but it doesn't. All right, what we're going to do, same drill as before, open the containers, let it away. Mamba might be a bit upset. And then the rest, I kind of explain it as I go along. Just looking for some place to hide. Ideally what you want to do, putting it on the table is not always good practice. And just remove some of the stuff that she's hiding under just to give me access to her head. I'm going to take her with the tongs just slightly behind her head, put her out of the container, get a good grip on her, slide till my thumb is underneath it, above your ankle. When you do pin it, try not to have your hand in the container. If something goes wrong that you can pull away, she doesn't have that action to try and get hold of you. Alright. And she's restrained. Grip, nice thumb on the head, nice grip round round. Release, you see what she's trying to do, she's trying to wrap around. The last thing you want to do when you're on your own is have a black mamba wrapped around your wrist. I'm going to filter her calmly into the bucket, get my hand just out of her grip and one quick swift and she's done. All the hidey stuff in the bag. And seal it up. And obviously for most people the safest option is always to tube it. To do that, personally I just neck it, it's the fastest way to do it and get over and done with. And like to stress out with a potentially dangerous animal. And I interact with it as little as possible. If you do need to tube it, what I usually do is I put it in a square container like that one, with nothing for the snake to hide in. Makes it kind of, you know, not keen to stay in there. And remove the lid, and kind of just direct with either hook stick, or if the snake is willing to do it by itself, just kind of give it a way out of a box that it doesn't like in the first place. Alright. Too keen to climb out, just more keen to gape at me than anything else. So let's give her her way out, and off you go, girl. Off you go, 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 off you go. and tubed. Black mamba, safely restrained. And there we go. You see on the tube as well, I've got holes everywhere that if you need to work through it, but you've obviously got space for tweezers, all sorts of things like that. She's not too impressed to be in here, but this is the easiest way that I could always figure out how to tube it. There you go. Bob's your uncle. Now I release. Looks the in hand, just in case she does decide to freak out. Off you go, off you go, girl. off you go, off you go, no, 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 there you go. She can really not do much from there. Away from her, snake, oh, back in container, oh, back on the container, sorted. <laughs> 